Well, a setback today for Attorney General Curtis Hill. A federal judge struck down a motion by Hill to throw out a court settlement that expanded the number of early voting centers in Marion County. So Hill called a news conference this morning to discuss his opposition. He didn't show up. Instead, he sent a staff member. And when we started asking questions about another high profile case, he refused to provide answers. News 8's David Williams live at the State House to explain. David. Today's news conference was called after a war of words erupted between him and fellow elected state official Connie Lawson. She's Indiana's Republican Secretary of State. Unfortunately, Hill wasn't available to comment on that or the sexual harassment allegations and investigations swirling around him. Indiana's Solicitor General Thomas Fisher was the one who spoke Thursday. Attorney General Hill has asked me to set the record straight. Uh, on the involvement of the Office of Attorney General in the Common Cause federal court case uh, regarding early satellite uh, voting offices in Marion County. The Attorney General believes a settlement in a lawsuit that resulted in the expansion of voting centers in Marion County violates state law. Republican Secretary of State Connie Lawson said yesterday in a statement, quote, by his reckless action, the Attorney General has disrupted more than 18 months of productive bipartisan conversations. We were hoping to ask Hill himself to respond, but he didn't show up. Why is your boss Curtis Hill not here today? I'm the one that he thought had knowledge about the case, so that's why I'm asked to speak to you. Remember, Curtis Hill faces separate allegations from four women accusing Hill of sexual misconduct. Since then, three women have come forward publicly. Democratic Representative Mara Candelaria Reardon and Gabrielle McElmore, who works for the Indiana Senate Democrats, as well as Nikki De Silva, who works for the Senate Republican Caucus. State leaders, including Governor Eric Holcomb and Secretary of State Lawson, call on Hill to resign. Hill scoffs at the resignation calls and denies all the allegations. With the allegations surrounding him, people have called him a liar, said he is not telling the truth. Do you think your boss is a liar? I am, of course not, and I am here to uh, speak about this case. We asked Fisher if Hill has anything to say to his accusers and to people who are squarely in Hill's corner supporting him. I'm here to talk about the Common Cause case. The Office of the Inspector General is conducting her own investigation into the allegations. As for the voting centers, we stopped by Secretary of State Connie Lawson's office to see if she had any comment about today's media briefing. But her press secretary, uh, Ian Howard, told me that they had no comment today and stuck by the statement from last night. I'm David Williams, live at the State House, Wish TV, News 18.